Welcome back. You're still live with Express. Your timing is fantastic as we continue to hone in on road safety this morning. Now, a rather alarming statistic. It is estimated that 12,000 people die on our country's roads every year. 12,000. So today, we are joined by road safety activist Alita Jones. She founded the non-profit organization called Drive More Safely. Through her foundation, she has managed to conduct training programs and campaigns to help to educate and equip people on how to be safe road users. She is an angel and she has teamed up with the traffic departments on various governmental projects and she's about to reveal some of what she's doing right now. Please a very warm welcome to Alida. Good morning. How are you? Hi, good morning, Graham. Awesome to be with you guys today. <laughs> Uh, so good to be connecting with you, but I'm going to ask that you take us back to the beginning of your journey in this space. And obviously it started with what I would imagine is quite possibly the worst moment of your life, in fact. More than 25 years ago, you lost your son, tragically, and this led to you starting a foundation called Drive More Safely. Why was it so important for you to take this step after such an incredible loss? Um, Graham, you know, when you lose somebody on, um, in, in a road crash, um, the devastation is just indescribable. It's impossible to, to tell you um, what it does to you as a mother, as a family. Um, so for, to find a way to heal and to make me want to carry on with life, um, I then decided to start an organization to educate our road users about the importance of following the rules of the road um, so that we can um, bring down the fatalities on our roads. Because uh, too many families, I have a saying that I say, daily families are left with a permanent reminder of a crash that changed their lives forever. And I just keep thinking of the families, those mothers that you have helped as a result of the work that you are doing. Now, you stress the fact that road safety is not just government's responsibility, but also that of us, the road users. How has teaming up with the traffic department helped your organization enable a greater level of road safety? I think it's also learned us that when we um, team up with them, we start to actually more appreciate the work that our traffic officers are doing. But it also shows us that if a this is a team effort. We cannot work on, uh, we cannot work on our own. Um, there's no way that you will be able to make a, different, a difference um, if you do not team up with government. It's a pity that it is such a hard job to, term, to team up with them. Um, I'm very fortunate that um, when I started off, I started off in the Western Cape um, and having um, people like Kenny Africa and, and um, all those guys working together and sharing our passion. So it was not difficult to get them to, to include Drive More Safely into programs and allow me to present my ideas because as an activist, you must remember, we are the people that work on the ground. So we are the people who hear um, what the, the people on the ground is saying. So we became the voice between the people on the ground and the traffic department and the Department of Transport. And if, we, if, if transport can follow that um, model, then we're going to make a huge impact. So and we, we're hoping that, that it will happen sooner and that government will, will see the importance of um, uh, uh, road safety activists. Um, absolutely love it. Well, you're making it very difficult for them to ignore that. And you've spoken about the work that you're doing. Your, your organization aims to empower and educate people. So maybe you can delve a little deeper into what your training programs actually consist of. Okay, so you know what, uh, quite a few years ago, um, Kia, this is the second time I'm sharing my, my work with Expresso. So a few years ago, Kia Johnson came out to my organization where we do children's training. So we teach our little feet to be safe on our roads. And that's one of my very, pa I'm very passionate about that. So uh, we also have a Danny Cat Club. We brought Danny Cat back to the schools. And um, so we do Danny Cat. 
um, we do um, training for, we, we do um, defensive driving for truck trainers. We also try and um, do a training program for mothers because we do believe if you equip the mother with the right skills, they will be able to teach their children the right way. So our, our car seat campaign kicked off in 2012. Um, and uh, yeah, I think up to date, we have distributed about close to 10,000 car seats already to wow. families who do not have one. That is so, incredible. Yeah, I mean, we were, yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, when, you're, when, you, when you are passion driven, um, you tend to, to look at something in, from another angle. You know, because we are non-profit, we don't care about, I don't, if I have to say that we have received, say, about, I don't even think in the years that we have been in existence, we haven't received much funding. So a lot of the money comes from our own pocket because I'm so passionate about what I do. Well, um, there could not be... Yeah, the, the, I don't think there could be a more important campaign when we look at the statistics that, that have been revealed this morning. How can we help in your efforts? I know that you are a warrior fighting this battle, regardless of the financial support that you get, but I'm sure some help would be great. How can we support you in your efforts and, and where's, where must people go to find out more about what you're doing? Yeah, they can visit our website. You know what? Um, I am I am now starting to get to pension age, <laughs> so you know what? I'm trying to I'm, I'm I'm trying to really see if we can get some of our young people that can take overdrive more safely and and share my passion and carry on with it. Um, it's been very difficult with uh, COVID. Also, we were not allowed to work, so funding was very very poor. We cannot apply for funding because we cannot say where the money is going to because we cannot work. So it was, it's been a very difficult past two years. I've turned back into education. I'm teaching again um, just to fill up the pockets again. But yeah, you can go to our website. You know what? All our information is on our website. I'm just seeing here, remember our website is www.drivemoresafely.co.za. It's okay. not .com. .com. Okay. Right. So, yeah. Oh, Alida, thank you so much for the work that you are doing, as you said, on the ground level, being that voice of road users for going so far as you have with that connection with the road and or the traffic department. Thank you for being that link and doing the work that you do every day. We really, really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And can I leave with one message? Yeah. It's be responsible. If everybody is responsible, we will change the safety on our roads. Oh, Alida, thank you so much. You can go to drivemoresafely.co.za to find out more information on how all of us can be more responsible road users.